Hi, this is Teacher Maria once again. Today, we have another lesson. Join with me as we explore and learn together. Our topic for today is about subtraction with regrouping. So, what is regrouping in subtraction? Regrouping is another term for borrowing. In subtraction with regrouping, we will encounter borrowing more often when we take away one number from the corresponding place value. This is the example. Step 1. Arrange the numbers according to their place value with a greater number on top. So, 5 and 9 are in the 1's place, 6 and 2 are in the 10's place. Step 2. We begin with the 1's place. Since 5 is smaller than 9, we borrow 1 from the 10th place, which is 6, becomes 5. Step 3. The one that is borrowed makes 5, 15. Hence, 15 minus 9 equals 6. Step 4. Once we have subtracted the 1's place, move to the 10's place. 5 minus 2 equals 3. The difference between 65 and 29 is 36. Let's try this another example. Don't forget to follow the step. 314 minus 157. Step 1. Arrange the numbers according to their place value with greater number on top. 4 and 7 are at the 1's place. 1 and 5 are at the 10's place. 3 and 1 are at the 100's place. Step 2. We begin with the 1's place. Since 4 is smaller than 7, we borrow 1 from the tens place 1, which reduces to 0. The 1 that is borrowed makes 4 as 14. Hence, 4 minus 7 equals 7. Step 4. Follow step 2 again with the tens and hundreds place, borrowing 1 from each of the numbers, which make it 3 at the hundreds place will reduce to 2 and 0 at the tens place makes it 10. 0 will become 10 and this 3 will become 2. 10 minus 5 equals 5 and this 3 becomes 2 already, right? So 2 minus 1 equals 1. Hence, the difference between 314 and 157 is 157. We can always check our answer by adding the subtrahend and the difference to get the minuend as addition is the inverse of subtraction. Keep in mind that we use regrouping in subtraction when the minuend is smaller than the subtrahend. Again, regrouping in subtraction is another term for borrowing. In Deuteronomy 12 verse 32, Whatever I command you, you shall be careful to do. You shall not add to or take away from it. Thank you for watching.